Hi, and welcome to another Qubit How To video. Today we'll be having a look at how to insert doors and windows and use the openings library. Let's get started. As you can see here, I've done a very simple takeoff on this plan with my external walls taken off and a couple of internal walls around the bathroom and hallway. We're going to start by inserting data from a door schedule into Qubit. To do that, we can click on our doors drop down, click insert door, and that will open up the door library. The other option we can click is the openings library, and then select door. To insert data from a schedule, we can import it directly from an Excel or CSV format. Cubit will read the information in your door schedule, and then it's up to you to dictate what that information is for Cubit to read. As you can see, we have a reference code. We can use that for the name of our doors. We've also got a structural width and height, and then a standard door width and door height. So I'm going to ignore our structural width and height at the moment, and just insert our doors with our widths and our heights. I can insert those into the system, and now doors D1 through to D6 have instantly been inserted. Been inserted. I can change a variety <coughs> of options after the fact, such as the thickness, and I can add a manufacturer if I need to as well. The last parameter in this side of the window is the listed pane, and this will allow us to quickly select from that drop down earlier. When it comes to inserting the doors and windows onto your plan, Cubic can handle this function in a variety of ways. The first thing to decide is would you like Cubit to automatically calculate your doors and the openings, or would you like to dictate where your doors and windows are counted towards? For example, if I create a brand new trade, and list our bathroom door at 720 wide. As a door count here, I can cost up the door before I have counted them. Let's go ahead and just assume that this door will cost us $320 to install, including supply and labor. The last thing I need to do now is just count up how many doors are gonna be required here. To do that, I can come back to my door selection. I'm going to use this pre-prepared bathroom demo door. And in the new task pane, I'm going to turn off the auto counts heading, come over to where our walls are, and Q will ask me to intersect with shapes two and five. <clears throat> in, this case, in this case, shape two is my framing wall, and shape five is my tiling. So I do want to intersect with both of them, and the same on the opposite side. Whilst I've done that, Qubit has calculated both doors and tabulated the total cost for me. It has also done a deduction for my external, sorry, my internal wall frames for both doors here, and also by tiling. The other way that Qubit can calculate, if I just undo that function, I'm going to delete my doors trade here, is Qubit will actually create a trade for you using that auto counts feature in the new task pane. It will prompt you and say there are no suitable counts heading to actually place this door in. 
and we will create a heading for you. So you see it's created me a new trade and listed that bathroom demo door here at account. Obviously then I can just add my cost in at the end. The difference in these two styles becomes more apparent when you consider having to count doors on different plans and have them listed separately in your estimate. For instance, if we were to come to our second plan and still continue our regular count, our count has increased to three, but we have no indication of where those three doors are lying. We might be better to create a second line Turn off our auto counts heading and count our door. This way we can clearly see the same type of door but count it individually in our estimate. Thanks for watching our video. You can find more great videos like these on our YouTube page and you can also contact our friendly support staff if you have a specific query. Happy estimating!